everyone, my name is Whitney and I am a dental hygienist. If you're new here, welcome. If you've been here before, welcome back. Let's talk about carbonated water and teeth. The question is, sparkling water, seltzer water, carbonated water, whatever you wanna call it, are those bad for your teeth? The short answer is that carbonated water is not as bad for your teeth as drinking soda, diet soda, juice, or any other sweetened drink. But that's only if it's free of sugars and artificial sweeteners, of course. You all know about all those flavored seltzer waters. If your sparkling carbonated water is flavored, then you immediately lose the leg up that you get by skipping the soda. So if you're someone who is looking for a healthy sugar-free alternative to soda, seltzer is a good alternative. However, regular water really still is better. This is because the typical pH level inside of our mouths is between 6 and 7, and tap water is usually around 6.5 to 8. So that's pretty good, pretty similar, pretty good. However, carbonated water has a lower pH level, so it is slightly more acidic than tap water, averaging anywhere from 3 to 4.5 or higher on the pH scale, depending on which brand you get. But again, it's still not as bad is soda where the pH level is around 2.4. So the lower the pH means it's more acidic, which means that your tooth enamel is more likely to weaken and get cavities. And although enamel is the hardest substance in the entire human body, if you were to expose it to acidic liquids all day, every day, it will still erode eventually. In all, drinking tap water is always best for your mouth, but carbonated water is definitely not as bad for your teeth as regular soda. So before we go, let's go over the four things you can do to better your dental health while drinking carbonated water. Drink with food. Food helps neutralize acids from your drinks or other desserts. It's always better to drink carbonated water at meals than to sip on it all throughout the day. Use fluoride every night. Fluoride mouthwashes and toothpastes help counteract the effects of enamel erosion. So if you're a big seltzer drinker, be sure that fluoride is in your dental home care routine. Drink tap water afterward, or at least rinse your mouth with tap water after drinking carbonated water, because hands down, like we said, nothing is as good for your teeth as drinking plain tap water. And talk to your dentist. If you are having any tooth sensitivity or if you've been noticing any issues in your mouth lately, be sure to tell your dentist or your dental hygienist about how frequently you are drinking carbonated water so they can better assess your situation. And that's it. I hope this video helped you. Please like and subscribe and turn on those notifications if it did. And if you want more Teeth Talk, I'll see you on my Instagram at Teeth Talk Girl. Peace, love, and teeth.